Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring this Regis, this, mo this manufactured home. The name of this home is the Regis, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful home. Look at the porch here on this home. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to show you the inside. Wanted to give you a good look at what the house looks like uh, on the outside, okay? This is the Regis. Beautiful porch. I can see long, lazy days. Spent sipping iced tea out on this porch, can't you? Let's go in, go on in and see what this home looks like. Hey family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Now, this is your living room. This is where we walked in at. Look at all the space you have here. Look at these beautiful floors, you guys. Beautiful. All my viewers that are looking to see where the vents are, you got your vents in the ceiling. All the homes at this lot have finished drywall. Lots of space in this living room, you guys. You can do a lot with this. Because of, because of the mixed colors and the flooring, you can really, really do a lot with this. Really nice. Look how much space you have. Now, in your, from your living room, I'm gonna go over and spin around. You can see into the kitchen. Give it a wide angle. You can see into the kitchen and the dining room. You have pendant lighting over your island. You could probably put three or four bar stools at this island, depending on how it's made. You do have a sink in the island, but you've got lots of space for entertaining or the kids to do homework, what have you. You've got lots of cabinet space here, a beautiful hood over this uh, ceramic top uh, stove. Really lovely. Love the little transom windows under the cabinets. Love the subway tile as backsplash. Really nice. And that backsplash extends from this cabinet all the way around. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Love the corner cabinet. What a way to maximize space in this home. You do, the cabinets don't go all the way up to the ceiling, which I love because you've got a lot of cabinet, right? These are long, tall cabinets. You've got a lot of cabinets. One, two, three, four shelves in the corner cabinet. Cabinets in your regular, cap, three shelves in your regular cabinet space. Really lovely. Really, really pretty. Love it. You've got cabinets above the above the refrigerator and on the other side, lots of pantry space. Absolutely love that about this kitchen. You've got drawers and cabinets. And look at these wide drawers, you guys. Look at the wide draw drawers. And you've got soft touch. Did you see that? This is this gets me excited, you guys. Watch. Boom, soft touch cabinets. Really, really lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love it. There's your dishwasher there. Really nice. Beautiful kitchen. Love the way you have the darker counters uh, in the exterior of the kitchen. And then you've got this wood block here in the island. That's really pretty. Over into the dining room, you've got sliding glass doors that would lead out to a beautiful deck. And then you got space, look, it shows us how you can have a buffet table as well as your kitchen table here. You do have a chandelier. Love the modern look of the chandelier in this space. You can always change uh, these out if you like, or you can put another chandelier there. But I love how they go with the pendant lighting in this room. Really lovely. 
Lovely, lovely. So let's take another spin. Don't mind my stuff. Let's take another spin around so you can see the kitchen and living room together. The dining room is off to the side behind that wall. So you kind of have a peep into the living room. But this is great entertainment space, you guys. You have space for everyone. Someone in the dining room. You can have guests at the island and also in the living room. Really lovely. Now, from the kitchen to your right, you have this hallway here. And this hallway has your additional bedrooms as well as uh, your laundry room. So let's take a look here. So I'm going to show you what I see, okay? So coming down this hall, the first door to the right you have is your guest bedroom. You've got a, a transom window over the top shower tub combo. You have um, cabinet space, lots of cabinet space in this bathroom because you got two drawers and two cabinet areas. Really, really lovely. Nice size guest bathroom. Your laundry room. This is the laundry room, you guys. So look how big this laundry room is. Walking into the laundry room, you have your back door there. You have all of the space over here. You got room for a mudroom area, deep freezer, whatever you like in here. Your washer and dryer will go there and you have two cabinets uh, up above in order to store items as well as shelving and a space to hang things. So very pretty. You got space for a large uh, washer and dryer, but you also, your washer will go here, your dryer will go there, and then you got all the space. So I can see maybe shelving or uh, building a space to have counter space to fold right there would be really nice. Now you also have this coat closet in your laundry room, which is a nice feature because when you walk in from outside, you got a place not only to hang your items, but you also have a place for storage in your laundry room. So really, really pretty, really pretty. Now over by the washer and dryer, all of that space is laundry room. Really lovely. All right, so that is your laundry room. Next to the laundry room, you have guest bedroom number one. So this is your smaller of the two bedrooms, but this is ample space for a guest or for the kids, one of your kids or even two, cause you can put bunk beds in here, right? Really nice. You've got a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Really lovely. Again, this is the Regis, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful home. That's guest bedroom number one. And then over here, this is the larger of the two, is guest bedroom number two. And let's take a look at this closet. Another walk-in closet, really nice. In both of these, I would extend the shelving to maximize the space, right? Always want to maximize the space that you have. Really lovely. I'm pretty sure this door is maybe the, yeah, your air conditioning. So really nice. If we walk back through the common area of the house, you have your master down this hallway, not open to the living room, which is always a plus. They've got a little privacy back here. All of this space is master bedroom, you guys. Really nice. Two large windows to bring in lots of natural light. Really lovely. So all this is master. And then walking into the master closet. Look at the large transom window over that huge shower. How beautiful is that? You've got your double sinks to the right. Lots of cabinet space over there. Love the tall mirrors over the two sinks. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That gives you an idea of how you can bring in more storage space in this bathroom. You've got this huge, huge shower. 
This is a huge shower, you guys. This is not a standard shower. This is beautiful. Look at all of that space you got to sit while you take a shower. You got the shower head, uh, rain shower, shower head overhead, and then you have you have a handheld shower over there. Really lovely. Large transom window. Love the tile in here. It feels rich, you guys. It absolutely feels rich. You step up into the shower there. Now, behind the door that you walk in, you have your toilet area behind this wall for a little privacy. And then you've got, and it may be hard to see, but I'll try to post picture. Yeah, hard to see in that closet, but if there are some online, I will post. That is a, a large uh, master closet right there. All right, so this is the Regis, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful home. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, this dealership does not post prices. All of their information will be down in the description box along with a contact person. If you want to have any questions about pricing, specification, or where to find this home, you guys, make sure that you give them a call, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.